Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Irving Cowan are proud to present Liza. Sometimes you're happy and sometimes you're sad For the world goes wrong And sometimes you lose every nickel you've had For the world goes wrong 
Sometimes the dreams get broken in pieces. That doesn't alter your thing. Take it from me. There's still gonna be a summer. Sometimes the heart breaks with a deafening sound. Somebody loses and somebody wins, and one day it's kicks, then it's kicks in the sins. But the planet spins and the world. Sometimes your dreams get busted in pieces, but that doesn't matter at all. Take it from me, there's still gonna be a summer, a winter, a spring, and a
my true in the opium circuit. Give me a chance, I know I can work it. Oh, what a dream. And it was just as real as can be. Pop, wait, listen, listen. See, here I was in Mr. Orpheum's office. And he was saying to me, Rose, get yourself some new orchestrations, new routines, and red velvet curtains. Get a feathered hat for the baby. Photograph in front of the theater. Get an agent. And a chip time. You can be in love with nothing at all. What a dream. But it's only 88 bucks. It's not like I'm a... Oh, come on. It's 88 lousy bucks. What do you mean I ain't getting 88 cents out of you? Well, I'll get it. And I'll get my kids out! It is not a new problem, it is a rather old problem, but I found that it still exists. I mean, it happened to me out in the lobby. I was coming down to do the show, you know, and somebody said, oh, Lisa, how are you? I said, I'm fine, but my name is Liza. And then another, there was, a late, there was another very sweet lady who said, Lisa, what a lovely hat that is. And I said, thank you very much, but my name is Liza and that's my hair. So you can see, I still do have a problem. But finally, in 82, I have figured out how to solve it. I hope. Okay, Kathy. It's really simple. See, look. It's Liza with the Z, not Lisa with an S. Cause Lisa with an S goes not Z. It's Z instead of S. Lie instead of B. Simple as can be. See, Liza. <laughs> I'll do it again. It's Liza with a Z, not Lisa with an S. Cause Lisa with an S goes not Z. It's Z instead of S. Lie instead of V. Simple as can be. See, Liza. <laughs> now, if my name were Ada, I'd be Ada. Even backwards, I'd be Ada. Or if my name were Ruth, then I'd be Ruth. <laughs> because with Ruth, what can you do? <laughs> or Sally, or Margaret, or Ginger, or Faye. But when you're alive, you always have to say No, it's Liza with a Z Not Lisa with an S Cause Lisa with an S goes not Z It's Z instead of S Lie instead of V Simple as can be See Liza oh, And that is only half of it There's another way They treat me cruelly How often I remember Someone saying There she goes, Lisa Manuli Or Manoli Or Mineola Or Minnelli Or Minnelli so is it a wonder I very often cry? It's M I double N, then E double L I. You double up the N, that's not new. Then E double the L, end with an I. That's the way you say Minelli. Nice Minelli. It's Italian. Blame it on Papa. What can I do? Every Sandra who's a Sandra, right? Every Mary who's really a Marie Every Joan who is a Joan Has got to agree with me when I'm announced I don't mind being humbled or trampled or trounced But it does drive you bats to be mis misbronounced It's no, Liza with a Z, not Lisa with an S, because Lisa with an S goes not Z, Z instead of S, Lines instead of Z, it's simple as can be, see Liza, that 
M I double N, then E double L I U double M B N. That's not new. E double L and with an I. That's what we say. Minnelli, Liza Minnelli. It's easy. It's easy. See, it's Lizzy. No, Liza. Alone. Mama wakes up and she's alone early in the morning. Oh. Falling down, London Bridge. My fair lady, yes. She looks a lot like him, but she does look like him, yes.
my goodness. All of these emotions and it's past midnight. Wait. This song, you know, I like this song so much. It was written by Marvin Hamlish. And I think I like it because it says all of the things that I'd like to be able to say to you, but the song says it better. Therefore, I will shut up and sing it. Please, don't let this feeling end. Is everything I am, everything I want to be. I can see what's mine. Finding out what's true since I found you looking through the eyes of love. Now I can take my time. I can see my light as it comes up shining, reaching out to touch me. I can feel so much since I. Stop, honey, you're killing me. and fret me if I can only get me someone to slap that face. Oh, happiness is not a riddle when I'm this 
listening to that big bass fiddle. <laughs> slap that face, slap it till you're dizzy. Slap that face, keep the rhythm busy. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Misery, you've got to go. Slap that face, use it like a tonic. Slap that face, keep your philharmonic. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And the milk and honey will flow. Dictators would be better off if they'd zoom, zoom now and then. Today you can see that's the happiest thing. If you want a bubble, slap that face, slap away your trouble. Learn to zoom, 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 slap that face. Mighty dark, so you could hardly see, for the moon refused to shine. Couples sat underneath a willow tree for love, they pine. Little maid was kind of afraid of darkness, so she said, I guess I'll go. Boy began to sigh. Looked up at the sky, told the moon his little tale. Oh, shine on hearts, moon, up in the sky. January, February, June or July, snow time, ain't no time to stay outside, outside and spoon, so shine on, shine on home. Thank you. 
you so much. Thank you. Wait a minute, I gotta do something. You have a towel, Ben? Just a second. It's plenty hot up here, folks. Have you, are you okay out there? Are you hot? Well, I was gonna come out here all swell for the New Year. I made one New Year's resolution. I wasn't gonna sweat. It didn't work, so, just a minute. I mean, it's stupid. I spent an hour and a half putting this crap all over my face. I did. I just got... about, about, um, thank you, about how long ago, about almost five years ago, I made a movie called New York, New York. I was, uh, thanks. Well, what's happened is that just recently, they've, they've re-released the movie, but in an entirely new version, which means all they did was they put back in everything they took out. <laughs> the movie now makes sense, it helps. Anyway, one of the main things that they put back in, I think the biggest chunk of material that they reinstated in the movie, is this enormous, but really silly, this enormous production number. It's just, it's a Hollywood musical production number. It has a lot of sequins and feathers and staircases and how many girls did we have, Kathy? About 105, the man counted, 105. 105 girls and me, and we're all going. <laughs> and all all that kind of stuff. But I think what I'm proudest of is the fact that that song was written by Fred Ebb and John Cantor, especially for me. And there was, thank you. And the, there was another uh, song in that movie. As a matter of fact, it was the title song of that movie. But, uh, which um, was also written especially for me. <laughs> Which is a wonderful thing to be able to say, you know, especially for me. Because, no, be, wait, Ben, wait, just, although some of you might not know <laughs> that the song was indeed written especially for me. Because um, <laughs> uh, recently, somebody else has been singing it. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> As a matter of fact, every time the man opens his mouth, <laughs> he sings this particular song. Which is, no, wait, wait, Ben, just wait. Which is perfectly all right. It's not like I mind or anything. I don't mind. I'm honored. I'm thrilled. You are looking at a thrilled person. No, I don't, come on. It, it's terrific. If the man likes the song and he likes singing it, well, then that's just good. That's only wonderful. It's kind of like the 4,000 pound elephant. He does whatever he wants. <laughs> Look, all I'm trying to say is I feel in my heart that there's room for both of us, you know? So I still sing it too, because like I said in the first place, it was written especially for me. <laughs> now! Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today.
set where I start? Okay. Do I have the down beat? I got it. Okay. Ha! Two, five, I'm king of the hill. I'm here as I miss. Being on the top at the top of the heat. Say, little time. Say, ah, let me away. I'll make a brand new slot of it. Somebody. This man is incredibly important to me. He's not only my drummer and my conductor, but he's my friend. He's really my friend. Mr. Bill Lavornia. Yay, Tammy! I cannot tell you what it feels like to sit on these beads. It's... Wait a second. Let me see. In the sky, mister, for me and for you, I know that it's true somehow. Where we'll be, oh, so gay, eat fried chicken every day. While the ancients go that is why my heart is flying high, Mister. Cause I father directed that show and he told me that every night every night when Ethel Waters would sing that song that the entire audience would cheer which is terrific you know and that can happen on Broadway sometimes you know you find the right 
Broadway performer and you find the right song and you put them together and you can really drive an audience bananas, you know. So naturally, there are uh, a lot of performers who look for that kind of song because that's, you know, really what they would like to do. They, what, they just want to stop the show cold. Me, I'm not like that. No. No, I don't care about that sort of thing. See, you know what it is to me? To me, it's the show that counts. I tell you something, you know when I started? I started on Broadway, I started in the chorus. And it would be perfectly all right with me if I was still in the chorus. Because the point is you're on Broadway. And I can't tell you what that's like. It's suddenly, you, you're part of a family, you know what I mean? It, you're part of a unit. It's one for all and all for one. And there's this total lack of selfishness. I mean, you just do not have time to think about yourself. Therefore, you do not, you don't, you don't think about yourself. Let me tell you something. If I ever would have had a chance to work with Mary Martin or Gertrude Lawrence, no, wait a minute. If I ever would have had the privilege of being on the same stage with Ethel Merman, I would shine the woman's shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, I am lying. <laughs> I wanna be a showstopper with the showstopping song, a showstopper with the showstopping dance, an eye popper with the showstopping gift. You catch my drift. I wanna be a crowd stunner in a showstopping scene, a home runner. If you know what I mean, my arms ready for bouquets to be caught. You follow my thoughts. She's sore at the waist. That rare, refined combination of artistry, talent, and taste. Oh, excuse me. I want to be a showstopper who creates such a heat. The crowd rises like an iron seat. They're still cheating the nest. They walk up the aisle. But I won't forget. Thank you very much. I once read in this book, the average unmarried female, basically insecure, due to some long frustration may react with psychosomatic symptoms, difficult to endure, affecting the upper respiratory tract. In other words, just a waiting around for that plain little band The gold, a person could develop a cold You can stray away wherever you think of the strip There's cock lurk You can give her a shot for whatever she's got But it 
just won't work when she's trying to get the fish eye from the hotel clerk. A person could develop a cold and furthermore, just from strolling and strolling and strolling that wet strip, a person could develop a grip. A grip. The post nasal drip with the wheezes and the sneezes and the sinus. That's really a hip. From a lack of community property and a feeling she's getting too old. A person will develop a A simpering, whimpering, child again, bewitched, bothered, and bewildered. And I, couldn't sleep, wouldn't sleep, till love came and told me. Talks. He is seeking words to get off his chest. Horizontally speaking, he's at his very best. I'll sing to him. Had it. 
Smiths. Mr. Goldstone, hold your hats and hallelujah, mama's gonna show it to ya. Ready or not, here comes mama. Listen, my name is Sally Bowles. And I'm not just one of the girls at the cabaret. I am featured at the Kit Kat Club, a spot all my own. Lots of people in Berlin come especially to see me. I have a following. It's just that I'm waiting for the right people, that's all. I am a strange and extraordinary person. I mean, people like Max Reinhardt. Or a producer from UFA might just wander in one night. I mean, you, you never, never know. know. Oh, darling, don't be ridiculous. Of course I know I'm talented. And I could be working in much... Harsher places than this. But don't you see, then? Then it wouldn't be a surprise when they discovered me. Oh, darling, don't you understand? The 
sense of discovery is much greater in a dump. I mean, my God, look what happened to Marlena Dietrich. She was working right down the street from here, that awful place. And all she did was sit on a barrel. I can sing. And I can move. So you see, Brian, darling, I couldn't possibly leave Berlin right now. And besides, all of this political fuss won't do one damn thing anyway. It'll all blow over. Nazis and the commune, oh, please. It's ridiculous. Oh, but you go ahead, Brian. I mean, if you're afraid. Go ahead. Run back to England. Not me. I'm staying right here. Because it's exciting. And it's special. And it's divinely decadent. Excuse me, darling. Do you have a cigarette? I'm desperate. English and cigarette in the No use permitting some rough it. What? What? What are you talking about? Tonight? No, wait, wait, wait. Slow down. Slow, will you please speak English? You're telling me that producer is sitting out in that audience tonight? Tell me when I came in. That's the man who discovered Leah de Putti. You see what I mean? You never know. Oh, you never know. I'm coming. Okay. Watch this. What good is sitting alone in your room? Come hear the music play. Come to the cavalry. Put down the knitting, the pick and the broom. It's time for a holiday. Oh, life is a cavalry, old chum. Come to the cavalry. Come taste the wine. Come hear the band. Come slow that horn. Start celebrating. Waiting days, permitting some prophet of doom to wipe every smile away. Life is a cabaret, old town. Come to the cabaret. I used to have this girlfriend known as Elsie, with whom I shared four sordid rooms in Chelsea. She wasn't what you call a blushing flower. As a matter of fact, she rented by the hour. The day she died, the neighbors came to snicker. Well, that's what comes from too much pills and liquor. But when I saw laid out like a queen, She was the happiest corpse I'd ever seen. <laughs> I, th I think of else to this very day. I remember how she turned to me and said, What good is sitting all alone in your room? Come hear the music play. Oh, life is a cabaret, old child. Come.
Thank you for something. I want to thank you for coming here tonight. I'll never forget this is my whole life. You're wonderful. Oh, I'm so happy. What a way to start the new year. Thank you so much. You're terrific. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to thank. I want to thank not only, not only you and and of course this fabulous band. Everybody here, please, everyone. You'd swell. <laughs> Sensational. But none of this, see, none of this would be taking place if it weren't for two very important people. And there's a third person here tonight that means so much to me. First of all, he, I think he's the one and only king that I know of, that I believe in, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, Mr. Yule Brenner. Where are you, Yule? Where are you? Hey! Right there, yeah! I love you! Isn't that terrific? Oh, I'm so excited! See what I mean now? You get two for one. Isn't that terrific? But it's true. I didn't know it was going to be. I mean, you paid, you came in, you got in. Perfect. But none of this, you guys, wait a minute. None of this would be taking place if it weren't for two people who are. Listen, shh, shh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Thank you. None of this would be taking place if it weren't for two people I'm proud to call my friends for quite a while now, an awful long time. Ladies and gentlemen, help me thank Marge and Irv Cowan. Thank you. Stand up. And my mommy and my daddy, stand up. Everybody has to stand up. Go on. And Paula Wayne, you have to stand up. Paula, go on. Bravo. Okay. Now listen, I don't know about you, but last year wasn't the hottest for me. I mean, there are a couple of things that were true bombers. 
But that's not going to be erased, because we're all going to have a terrific year. I wish that so much for you. But I think we'll only have one if we listen to this next song, because it truly dictates everything. Poppy, hit it! Yes. You know, say yes. Life keeps happening every day. Say yes. When opportunity comes your way, you can't stop wondering what to say. You'll never win if you never play. Say yes. There's Mink and Mary go right outside. And long white Cadillacs you can ride. Nothing's gained if there's nothing tried. Say yes. Don't say why. Say why not. What lies beyond what is, is not. So what? Say yes. Yes, I can. Yes, I will. Yes, I'll take a sip. Yes, I'll touch. Yes, of course. Yes, how nice. Yes, I'll happily thank you very much. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. There's lots of chaff, but there's lots of wheat. Yes, you might get mugged as you walk the streets, but on the other hand, you might reach that handsome stranger you want to meet. Say 